right, so in this video, we are gonna really take those observations that we've made about this painting, American Progress, and we are gonna analyze those observations and really make some inferences on what is the message of this. Well, we've already said that the painting is in support of the idea of manifest destiny. And so how does this go about showing that? What are, what are some of the, the essential pieces and features of this painting that show that it supports this idea of manifest destiny? And remember, manifest destiny is saying this idea that American culture is a good thing and bringing American culture across the continent is, is a good thing. It's gonna benefit the rest of, benefit America and the continent. And so it is, it is appointed by God almost, uh, in, in a sense, is that the way of thinking that the people at this time, many of the people at this time had. So how does this painting go about kind of showing that? What, is it, what are some of the, the features that, that, it, that it shows that this is a good thing? Well, one of the key fe features, obviously we talked about um, the woman at, right in the front and center, and she is progress. Uh, she shows that she's progress in a, several ways. One of those is she's holding a book, a school book, and she's holding a telephone or a telegraph wire. Uh, and so you may have not may not have known that it was a school book. You may have thought that it was a, a Bible or something like that. That would have also worked for the way they were thinking that everything about the American culture that they're bringing is, a, is an improvement to the way things are uh, in that area and region before. And so uh, another big way, uh, another major way that it's showing that this is a, a progress and that, I mean, even the very title, progress. Is progress positive? Do we generally think of progress as a positive or a negative? Oh, they're making progress. Oh, it's, that's a good thing. And so the very title says American progress. And so it's showing that things are improving. All right. But if we look at this side of the picture, we've no, we noticed earlier that it's, uh, that it's dark. And on this side of the picture, that's light. And the, the angelic figure floating across, she's kind, of, she's kind of dispelling that darkness and bringing light with her. Okay, so that's one thing. Uh, additionally, on the, the left-hand side, we see like wild animals. So we see a bear, we see buffalo, we see maybe wild horses or deer, some type of wild animal. So we see wild animals. And then as we move this way, we see more domesticated animals. Okay, so it's almost like a, so the wild, the dark, the rugged mountains all represent danger and difficulty. And progress is coming along with improved technology and improved ways of, of farming and things of that nature and all of a sudden things are getting better and it's brighter so we've got brighter uh we're, we're bringing better things with us is the idea here that it's saying all right so that we've talked about the wild animals another way to think about it we've got uh improvements in technology or in transportation so here we've got people on horseback and walking and running they're pulling a travoy without a wheel okay then we've got the wagon the Constoga wagon pulled by horses and uh, with wheels. And the, the Constoga wagon is actually a really well designed wagon. Um, then we've got the Overland Stagecoach, the red Wells Fargo Overland Stagecoach. You might think, well, Wells Fargo, yes. Wells Fargo starts way back then. And then we've got the trains and the background ships of different types of, of sailing vessels and probably some steamboats as well. And so we see this is a timeline, the older ways and the newer better ways of doing things. That's the message of the painting again. Um, we see an older way of, of living. So hunter gatherer. And then here we, we replace them there with but still hunters and miners, but we notice, okay, so now it's, uh, it's Anglos instead of Native Americans. And then behind them, we've got families coming in a Constoga wagon. And behind them, we've got farmers. And so we've got a, a progression of the kinds of, of, of production and the ways of the economic activities, hunter gatherers, hunters and miners, farmers, probably in the background, it's hard to see, but perhaps some, some manufacturing going on back there as well. Uh, and so we see that there's, so this painting is showing that uh, we're bringing domesticated animals. We're bringing uh, improved ways of living. We're improving bringing improved transportation, we're bringing education, we're bringing uh, improved communication with the telegraph. And so everything that the, the message here is that this American way of life is a better way. It's going to make things better. One thing that's not necessarily clear in this, but even that would include like the American way of 
of government, the democracy, American democracy and things of that nature are moving west and there's this westward movement. And so that idea of manifest destiny, not just that we're supposed to move out there because God wants us to, but we're supposed to move out and bring our way of life with us because it's better and improving the way things are. And you, that's to our ears today, that sounds very much, that sounds, um, well, how could, very arrogant to think, well, our way is the best way. But, uh, and it certainly is to a certain extent, but that is, but what we're trying to do in history is we're trying to understand, well, how did they think at this time? And so this painting really helps us to see many people really did think, hey, this is, this is the way of the future. This is the best. It's better than these older ways. And we're bringing that out to these new places. And if Native Americans have to run from it, if it causes problems for Native Americans, that's just unfortunately the way the world is. Um, if there's uh, other cultures in the way, well, they're just going to have to, to adjust to this new way. Uh, and so that's really the message here is that, that what we're bringing is a benefit to the world and to our continent. And so we're doing a good thing by, by moving out here and bringing these things with us.